Hi, I'm Gloria from Kosher by Gloria, and today I've decided to make a strawberry sorbet uh, that requires no cooking. There's no sugar syrup to make. It starts from frozen strawberries, so you don't have to worry if your strawberries are really sweet because you have them frozen. And it takes about probably less than five minutes to make. And if you want to make it really fancy, um, you can put it into um, an orange peel. I have, you can scoop out the orange with a knife, uh, but I find it easier and quicker to just squeeze it in an electric squeezer, and then you have a very nice uh, circle of orange to, to serve your sorbet in. Um, I had some frozen from yesterday, so I'm waiting for this to see if it softens up, but look how cute that is. When it's all done, you've got your sorbet in there, and an adult can use a spoon, and a child can just oh, eat it straight from there. So it's really a very cute way to serve something in the summer. So, okay, we're going to start with, we have our oranges already scooped out and now I'm taking a package of frozen strawberries and we dump our strawberries on a cutting board and these bags are always full of different sizes so these little tiny ones you can throw in your Cuisinart just the way they are but the bigger ones it's better to give a little bit of a chop and it's not really hard it's not really hard um, so you don't have to really worry about hurting yourself. Just cut these in half. Okay. Just makes chopping them when you get them in there a little more even. And the ice crystals and all that's on the strawberries is all fine because it's all gonna be all squished up together. So now we just take all these berries, we put them in the bowl of the Cuisinart with the uh, steel blade inserted. And now I'm going to put the top on and, uh, okay, big warning, it's going to be quite noisy. I'm going to put it on pulse so it doesn't puree too fast. So that's, I should have a spatula here, but we can push all that down. Okay, so see, that's all nice and chopped up. Now I'm gonna add a little less than a quarter cup of sugar. You could add different kind, any uh, different kind of sweetener if you like, but the sugar is easier. And anyone who says no sugar, the sugar and the uh, vinegar, I'm, you could use lemon juice. You could use a tiny little bit of uh, liqueur, but you have to figure out how much, and I haven't done that. Um, I'm gonna use just a splash of uh, balsamic, which is good with strawberries. And these things help the creaminess of the sorbet when it's all over. Also gonna add an egg white. Um, I keep my egg whites when I separate eggs and I use the egg yolks for something else. I store the egg whites in a jar and then I use them for meringues or for making sorbet like this. So if you're concerned about the raw egg whites, you can buy a container of uh, pasteurized egg whites in the store and those have been heated up to I forget what the exact temperature is but they're heated up to a temperature which makes them hundred percent healthy uh, to eat um, I don't have a problem with this so I'm just going to do what I estimate to be one egg white now I'm going to put the top back on and look and see how the consistency of this changes when I put it on Just gonna give the machine a rest for a second, but you can see, you can see that it gets, it's starting to get all light pink and thick and creamy. Uh, my machine, my Cuisinart uh, on the meat side, this is on my dairy side, um, the Cuisinart on the meat side is much stronger, and this happens much quicker. Um, but we're gonna just spoon that around and finish this up like this. always one strawberry or one piece of onion or one piece of potato when you put in a Cuisinart that seems to avoid the blade. I don't know how that happens. But here you can see there's like one blob that seems to be avoiding the blade, but we're not going to let that bother us. You can look at this. This is, you could actually eat it the way it is. It's like soft serve, soft serve sorbet. 
That was really good. So, if you want to be a little fancier and not eat it out of your hands like that, you just fill these up, fill up your orange shells, and then put them on a plate that can go into the freezer. And this takes about an hour or two to freeze unless you want to eat it soft like this. You can take a basil leaf, which is also good with strawberries. These are mint leaves, and you can put a little mint leaf on it to be a little more elegant if you like. If you're just giving it to children, they can slurp it out of this just like this, or you can wait till it's frozen and they can use a spoon and eat it like this. Let's see if this is soft enough. You can see that, yeah, this is soft enough. So that's a completely different consistency. After two or three days, it does change. They're, they're still good, but the consistency is not as creamy. So this is like, you can make this one or two days in advance. I often do this for the holidays because it's a dessert that can be made in advance on a big sheet pan. You can make dozens of them at once and then just pull them out for dessert with some cookies. And you've got a very elegant uh, dessert for any event that you're uh, cooking for. Thank you, hope you enjoy, bye.